I get there and immediately like the lady starts saying, uh, where's your sister? You need to check her in. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm like, oh, she's on her way. I told you like she was going to be a few minutes late. She's on her way though. How long? How long? Because she has, we have back to backs, back to backs. Mind you, no one is in this place. It's Hey everyone, welcome back to Receipts with Real. Now make sure you go ahead and grab your wine, grab your tea, or grab your water of choice and tune in because it's about to get real interesting. So DDG took to Twitter to tell everyone how Haley got serviced at this racist nail spa and he wanted everyone to go leave bad reviews. So... um this whole thing has just spun out of control. You're going to hear Holly's side of the story, and then you're going to hear the nail owner's side of the story, and then you're going to hear the truth from me. Because I'm going to give y'all the real. Y'all already know I'm going to give y'all the tea. So tune in. It's empty. There's like one girl getting her nails done, and no one else is in there but me. I'm like, okay, she said she's like nine minutes away, and then she like starts giving me faces like, nine minutes isn't gonna work so i'm slowly but surely starting to get a little bit early starting to get a little bit irritated because i'm like wait a minute like i have been a consistent customer here for the past few weeks i've brought like them so many people my glam team goes there now to get their nails done like i i get there Literally, like, I have been here. I told you that she was going to be late on the phone already before I got, before we set the appointment. And now you're telling me when my sister is five minutes away now that she's canceled while she's on her way? I'm like, that's not right. Like, and I've been a consistent customer. I've always been on time. Everything else. Like, you can't just, like, you can't just take the benefit of the doubt and be like, you know what, this girl has been good, like we can wait a few minutes, but you're gonna have an attitude with me and try to, so I'm going at me. And so I don't know if you guys know, but if you go to these like, it's like a Russian, it's a Russian manicure place. So their English is good, but they're like kind of really, um, how do I explain it? They're really direct. So sometimes some of the things that they say like comes off like it's being rude just cause their tone of voice but other times I would just, you know, not really take it that seriously. But this girl, she was like, literally, she walked over to my chair and is arguing with me about this. So at this point, I'm really upset and we're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then Chloe walks in and she's like, I'm so sorry, but you're going to have to be canceled. And I say, you know what? In the middle of my toes being taken off, I'm like, you know what? It's okay. We will just take our business elsewhere. And I get up, my feet still wet, my hands still all powdery. And I'm like, it's okay. Like, no worries at me. And so, I don't know if you guys know, but if you go to these, like, it's like a Russian, it's a Russian manicure place. So, their English is good. I'm not going to sit, let you tell me that my sister can't get her nails done, but I'm going to sit here and get my nails done. No like no so I got up and we both got up out of there and I said you know what god bless you have a wonderful day I didn't get attitude as Aries as I could have Chloe said I was still really nice but I just told her that is unacceptable and rude because I've been a loyal customer so that really disappointed me I got so upset I started crying Chloe was laughing at me and was like Allie it's okay it's okay but I got really upset because that's not how you treat people especially people who bring you customers and are consistent with going there. So I'm never going there again. Am I wrong for thinking that they should at least gave me the benefit of the doubt, especially since I was already there and no one was in there? Am I tripping? Like, I know like, you know, you have to be on time for appointments and stuff, but I'm not gonna sit, let you tell me that I have a loyal customer like, that is just not the way, being rude is not the way to go about it, to me, to me. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping though, but I don't think I was. Chloe told me I wasn't. So we just ended up going to another place that was close by that was great. They were wonderful and I love the way they did my nails. But 
Yeah, so I was pissed off. I was really upset. I just don't like when I experience stuff like that. Like, at least just be nice. I have a loyal customer. Uh, my name is Layla, and I am owner of the Perfect Nail Salon. Today, we had an accident. Uh, we had a call, and client who was loyal, and she was a couple times already at our salon, and she was totally happy. That's why she was coming back and she offered to so many of her friends to our place. And we know that people, like it's not random people came. They came and they said from who they coming from, which is thank you so much. We, we trying to be the best at the market. Anyways, she made appointment today at 3 p.m. for her and her sister. Later, she called me back and she said, like, unfortunately, they can't be on time and she wanted to reschedule 30 minutes late, which I said, I'm sorry, we are full of book today and we can't take you if you got uh, there's nothing, there's nothing, how to explain, like, there is nothing dramatic, there is nothing bad, like, we wasn't rude, it just, refused the service to climb who was late 35 minutes and what's happening evening i am at home just came from work and randomly i started to see that on my yelp page every second i get one star reviews and i get so bad reviews where people saying like burn on hell we are racist, we are very bad, we kicked out someone, like, which is like, okay, I understand, but when I see that people texting me that, like, then I understood that it's all, it's nothing, it's now, like, they banded my, all my business pages, now I'm, now I'm really scared just to go back to work tomorrow in the morning, because I'm pregnant and you don't know what's going to happen. You know, what if I'm going to go to my work and random people, because you, you never know. She's a popular person and how many thousands of people now texting me, calling me what I'm going to do. Like, I'm just scared. I'm just really scared. Like, just because you're a celebrity and you have a million followers, you posting about about it's okay if you post about the situation but you posted our pages where it's all information about our business about location about our phone and this is not not just business phone it's my personal phone and like i can't sleep because it's now like they back now according to miss bailey she um came on time and her sister was nine minutes late and as soon as Haley walked in, she said that the staff was just completely rude to her. And, um, you know, they refused to service her sister. So she walked out. She said they have been rude to her a lot of times before that, but they're Russian. So that's just like their nature. So she didn't really take like too much offense to it. You know, she just chose to ignore it because she knew it was some cultural differences there, which, honey, I don't think. See, that's where y'all mess up in the first place. Let me say that. That's where we mess up giving a pass to other people in their culture when they don't give us that same grace. But anyway, um, then the Russian lady, you know, she hops on. She takes to her Instagram to explain her side of the story. And it's more clips where that came from. Y'all can head over to her Instagram, uh, Perfect Nails. And see what she had to say but she was just putting on you know the caring tears and making it seem like she's terrified for her life and i'm gonna tell y'all something when i first watched both of the videos i didn't know who to believe i'll be honest with you i did not know who to believe because of the fact that ddg what he said was not the same thing as what Haley said so I was just like, okay, I need to do some more investigating because he's saying that they're racist, but she's saying that they didn't want to service her client because her, 
her sister because her sister was nine minutes late. So I did my own investigation, y'all. So I go over to Yelp and I'm not reading any of the new reviews. I'm going to go look at the old reviews. Okay, and when I pull up these old reviews, it tells so much about the type of person that this salon owner is. Y'all, she is a rude witch. So y'all can head over to Yelp yourself and then you can search up Perfect Nails and go look at the reviews from four months ago. Um, one of the first reviews I saw was, read this entire review. I have never in my life wrote a review, but I can't believe what I experienced. They need to change their name, their name from Perfect Nails to Yuck. I wanted a French tip, but the tip the nail tech was doing was the ugliest job. And it was, y'all. I saw the nails. I'm going to insert the clip. The nails were so ugly. Um, but she said, I just told her to make a straight line, and she still managed to make it ugly. Like, how hard could that be? Almost as if she was doing it on purpose. And when I asked her to pay attention to detail, everyone started treating me weird and started speaking in their, speaking in their native language. Even though they were speaking English the entire time prior, I literally had to shut up. That's how uncomfortable I felt. Attached is the inspo picture, and here's what I got. What a joke. Please don't waste your time here. <laughs> she must have left this review while she was in the nail salon, y'all, because she gave us an update in real time. And she said, y'all, the owner literally just confronted me in front of the entire salon. She must not know who I am. And she thought she could really confront and bully me into deleting my review. If I was scared of any reactions, I would have waited until I left the salon to post my review. When she realized I wasn't going to be coerced into deleting my review, she then offered to remove my entire set after three hours of being there. Nobody has time for that. I also politely asked her to sit back down and continue with the client she already had across the room. She then offered me a discount on my hands only. Girl by is very clear that she only caters to her specific clients. And then some of it cut off, but... Y'all can go over to Yelp and read everything for yourself. Um, she also gave a part two, a update number two. And she said, the owner is so upset that I won't delete my honest review. She has resorted to discrimination. Girl, you are sad and pathetic. I have attached a screenshot. She told me people like you. Girl, what do you mean people like me? She said, people like you always want a free service. Explain yourself because now you sound like a Karen. Y'all, so the business owner, Layla, she responded. She said, you were only here two hours. Your service was a full set design and pedicure. Why did you get a pedicure already if you didn't like the manicure? It means you wanted to get a discount for full service, not only for manicure. We already experienced when clients just wanted to get free services. You posted the review when you were getting your second service. You wanted a reaction, you got it. I tried to be nice and help you stay satisfied after a bad experience. I offered the full amount refund, but we have to remove the full set. It will take 10 minutes during your pedicure. I offered a 50% off discount if you want to keep the nails, you accept it, and we solved the problem. You should delete your review and at least mention that you got a 50% discount. So the customer, um, she inserted the screenshots of text messages. It says, we gave you a discount. I think it would be right to delete the review. She said, you literally said, I don't care about the review, but now you care. You gave me a discount because my nails are ugly. I would have deleted my review, but the way you confronted me in front of the salon was nasty. And then she said, I gave discount to delete reviews. Otherwise, you still gave a review and you got a discount. What's the point for me? <laughs> Y'all, this lady is crazy. She is really, like, you can tell she's not from here. She's from another world because what? She says, I'm always honest with my clients why I have to talk behind. What was your reason to leave review when you were here? For me, it means you wanted a refund or a discount. As I understood, you didn't care so much about quality. People like you usually want free service no matter what. Excuse me? Excuse me. See, this is why I believe DDG. This is why I believe him. This statement right here. Because what do you mean people like you? I'm telling y'all because at first I was like, DDG, he's full of it, you know. And I I'm going to get more into that um, towards the end of the video. But this people like you comment right here, y'all, this irks my soul. It irks my nerves. Um, She said... 
you have got your discount and said you will delete. Most of the salons won't refund or give a discount for you because the service was already done. Just to make you happy, I offered anyway. I was trying to be nice. It's not a bot review because you can never control that. You could delete it in a moment and write it again. I would be so grateful instead of you. It wasn't my fault that you didn't say anything during the process. Have a nice life. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Now, y'all, look at these ugly ass nails. Look at these nails that she gave this girl and was expecting her to be satisfied. Let me insert the inspiration pic. Now, there are countless other reviews from other people saying that they received terrible service. It's a lady who says she actually lives in the building and um, she gets service from them from time to time. And every time the service is terrible, she says she only still returns because she lives in the building and it's convenient. But her responses to everybody is just crazy, y'all. She's like, I would apologize, but you're not worth it. Um, she be snapping off in these comments. And from what I read on um, Instagram was that these responses weren't there last night. Like, she just uploaded all of these responses today. I'm not sure how accurate that is. But look what she says. Uh, first of all, stop lying. That's how she responded to one of the... <laughs> that is a totally different person from that Karen that we saw crying in her Instagram talking about she fears for her life. See, this is what I mean by these white woman tears that can get us in a lot of trouble. Because she really had a lot of people convinced like, oh, she fears for her life. She's just a business owner trying to make it in this world. You know, she would never do anything to hurt anybody or harm anybody. But you literally are threatening customers while they're still inside of your salon. And you want me to believe that you didn't treat Haley badly? Nah, so now y'all, we have to have a conversation about who we patronize. We have to have a conversation about the people that we are giving our money to. We have to take some responsibility in some of these things that we're doing because we're so quick to support these other businesses, but we're not quick enough to support our own. And it's like, it's like a double-edged sword because I know, one of the things I notice when it comes to the Black-owned salons, not all of them, I can't speak for all of them. Disclaimer, I'm not speaking for all of them. I'm speaking for the ones that I've been to. A lot of Black-owned salons are appointment-based only. And it's very hard to get a walk-in. So I understand that a lot of times... And then they want you to book like weeks in advance and put a deposit and all this other stuff. So I understand a lot of times why you guys have to go to different cultures because they're more acceptable to same day appointments. Um, I think that we all need to come together as a community and work these issues out because we have to stop giving our money to people who wouldn't patronize our businesses. They're not walking inside of our businesses supporting us. They don't care about us. They don't care about the treatment of us because they know that treatment of a black woman means nothing. Like if you can treat a black woman terrible and oh well, you're not, your business is not going to get canceled, right? But it, it would be outrage and outlash if they were to, you know, discriminate against the LGBTQ community, or if they were discriminate, you know, against Asians, you know, Asian had their own hate crime bill passed. Stop Asian hate. You know, we still ain't had that. We still didn't have no hate crime bill passed for us. But once again, it's like, to them, our opinions don't matter. So since our opinions don't matter, we have to hit them where it hurts and hit them in the pockets. Our pockets do matter. Because we are the number one consumers of a lot of these businesses. Black dollars matter, y'all. If we took our business away, we would crush the economy. Um, it's really unfortunate what happened to Holly and Chloe. I think that Holly might have been a little bit more emotional because she's pregnant. But as you can see, the salon owner is pregnant as well. Um, two emotional pregnant women, you know, arguing that doesn't go good at any time. But I will say that I feel this situation could have been handled, could have been handled better by all parties, because now it seems like this Karen is again ready to try to sue them. I don't know 
what she has in her pocket, but she got her white woman tears going and, um, that's never a good situation. So y'all sound off in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. And I will check y'all out next time.